how's it going guys it's me Kimmy with Luigi and welcome back to a brand new video in which today we're gonna do some Joker Pro and Julio videos in general so what I've been planning currently is to upload more Julio videos and at the same time I've decided to do, uh, do uh, deck profiles and at the same time some duels on, on, with random people um, so I hope you guys enjoy this actual first uh, deck profile I'm gonna do it in my, in my channel which is Blue Eyes White Dragon with a Dolan. It's actually a pretty good combination, I really recommend it. So um, to start off, uh, I'm just gonna go through all the cards and uh, then I'll just uh, explain the point of having these cards in the deck. So you need three Blue Eyes White Dragons, three Blue Eyes and Charity White Dragons, uh, a Dragon Spirit White, two White Stone of Ancients, two White Stone of Legends, Two Sages with Eyes of Blue, two Galaxy Soldiers, three Alistair's to Elk, Edolian Summoner, two Effect Bailers. Uh, the Effect Bailers are optional, by the way. You can add Maxi if you want to. Uh, three Trade Ins, uh, three The Melody of Awakened Dragon, uh, two Reckless Magic Circle for the Edolian uh, Summoner, and then Edolian Summoner Magic, uh, two. Uh, Return of the Dragon Lords, one Dragon Shrine, one Soul Charge, one Red Geki, two Twin Twisters, two Sun Strikes, and one Sun Warning. Then coming up next, we have our extra deck, two Micrava, the Dueling Beast, one Maga, Maga Janica, the Dueling Beast, one Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon, two Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon, uh, two Azure Eyes Silver Dragon. One Mikael the Arc Light Lightsworn, one Black Rose Moonlight Dragon. Uh, then uh, number 38, Hope Harbinger Dragon Titanic Galaxy. Number 95, Galaxy Eyes Dark Matter Dragon. Uh, number 70, Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon. And Cyber Dragon Infinity and Cyber Dragon Nova. Okay, so let's go to the card. So Blue Eyes, literally, that's the point of the deck, having three Blue Eyes. The point of having Blue Eyes to turn into White Dragon is to, if you have one Blue Eyes in your hand, if you have two, of, one of these cards in your hand, you can reveal this one, and you can special summon this guy um, as well. If you, if you like tribute of not using your attack, you can destroy any monster your opponent has on key side of the field. So actually pretty good. But literally, the point of Blue Eyes to turn into White Dragon is to use his ability and then Xyz or Synchro Summon to actually attack. Then Dragon Spirit Fight. So this monster, literally the point of it is just discard it into the graveyard and hopefully get to special summon it because if you do that, you'll be able to target one spell or trap card from your opponent controls and banish it. And you can also tribute this card to special summon the blue eyes by dragon from your hand. So the white stone of ancients and the white stone of legends, they save, deserve the almost the same purposes. This one, if this goes to the graveyard, you can have one blue eyes by dragon to your hand and then the White Stone of Ancients, if, during the end phase, if this card to your graveyard, you can send um, this turn, and you can special summon one Blue Eyes monster from your deck. You can banish this card from your graveyard, and then target one Blue Eyes monster in your graveyard, and then two. And you can only activate this spell for turn. Uh, then with Sage with the Eyes of Blue, uh, with this card's normal summon, you can add one level 1 tuner monster from your deck to your hand, except Sage with Eyes of Blue, because it will be very OP. And then, the other effect is, you can discard this monster, then target one effect monster in your side of the field, especially something Blue Eyes White Dragon, from your deck. Okay, so, Galaxy Soldiers. It is literally the point, that I'm going to explain as well, with Cyber Dragon Infinity and Nova. You literally, it will be the best combo ever, if you start off with Galaxy Soldier and two light monsters, because you literally immediately switch some of this to and then XC on to Nova and immediately to Infinity and you have literally um, a monster that has three XC's materials and can literally negate everything so that's pretty amazing with Adolin the Summoner uh, Alistair the Adolin Summoner is that during each player's turns you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard then target one future summon uh, usually it's with really it also affects the boys to inverse strain so it's actually, actually pretty good uh, literally, it affects these guys, and and then if this card is normal summoner flip summon, you can add one Adolian summon and magic to your hand. Then effect later, as I said, optional. You can add maxis trade in, of course. You purple wise or a white dragon melody. 
of the Lincoln Dragon. Discard one card, target two, uh, two, two dragon type monsters with 3,000 more attack or 2,000. You usually want to have a blue eyes and a blue eyes eternal dragon for this because you merely can special summon this guy immediately. Then, Great Plus Magic Circle with this card is activated, you can add one a gold and summon it to your hand. Uh, if you activate a card that includes this effects summon of a fusion monster, its activation cannot be negated. Also, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects when that monster is fusion summoned. You can only activate one relax magic for turn. And then, if you don't summon the magic, uh, you have to you have to tribute uh, using fusion materials monsters from your hand. So, blue eyes is really good because you activate this and the blue eyes through graveyard and you can special summon either Merkaba or Mag Magajanica. And then Return of the Dragon Lords, this is the point of a Dolan Summon Magic. You can use this, then special summon any of these three, and activate this and bring a blue eyes from your graveyard immediately. So that's pretty cool. And also if this card is in your graveyard and it, a dragon type monster will be targeted by battle, will be destroyed by battle or targeted by a card attack. You immediately can negate negate it and, and banish this card instead. Then Dragon Shrine, this is actually a pretty good card. Send one type monster from your deck to the graveyard, uh, dragon type. Then if that monster is a normal type, uh, dragon type normal monster, you can send another dragon type monster. So you usually want to send blue eyes first and then send either one of the stones because that's literally the point of this. Then Soul Charge. This card is actually uh, optional as well because the point of this deck is to literally overkill your opponent as fast as you can but the point of soul charge as well is that you want to special summon in case you are in a big hurry to defend or you really need to xc summon or synchro summon something so badly you can activate this because if you had a ton of your monsters like blue eyes and alternative blue eyes white dragons it will be really helpful even even this monsters as well so I recommend Solar Charge, of course it's optional. For Geki, you know it, destroy a monster on your opponent's side of the field. Twin Twisters, target one card, uh, well, I mean discard one card from your hand and target two spell charge cards on the field, destroy them. So usually you want to either discard Blue Eyes or the Stones, that's pretty much it. And you know, Sun Strike, pay 1,000 life, 1,500 life points, negate the summon or activation if you do destroy that monster. And then, Sun and Morning. When this monster will be summoned or when spell guard trap card effects the monster effect is activated, the closing effect that special summons some monsters, pay 2000 life points, negate the summon or activation and destroy that card. And then, you know, then now the extra deck, mark about. Uh, Alistair the uh, Elidon summon, summoner and one light monster. On once per turn, you can during either spell experience when the card, spell trap card or monster effects is activated, you can send the same. Uh, type of card you know and then negate the activation and if you do vanish the card so that's actually a pretty good effect uh, this guy has no effect at all it's just a pretty good um attack monster especially if, if you activate the ability of alistair's El elden summoners that's sending to the graveyard it immediately earns 1000 attack points during the battle phase and then Blois, white dragon Blois, white dragon to make Blois twin plus dragon it must be fusion summon or special summon by seven those monsters you control to the graveyard in which case you don't need polymerization thank you it cannot be special summon by other ways cannot be destroyed by battle and this card can make up to two attacks on monsters to reach each battle step and also this is amazing effect here at the end of the battle step uh, if this card attacks an opponent's monster but the monster was not destroyed by battle you can like, instead banish it so like I didn't destroy you, fuck you, get banished. <laughs> okay. And then we have Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. Uh, one tuner or one non tuner monsters. Blue Eyes monster, so usually I want to have Blue Eyes and then with a White Stone of Legend or a White Stone of Agents. So neither players can special summon two or more monsters at the same time. Once per turn, doing either player's turn, when the effect of a card in the graveyard is activated, you can negate the activation. Doing either player's turns, you can also tribute this synchro light monster to special summon one light dragon synchro monster from your extra deck in the defensive position, except the white spirit dragon because that would be too OP, but destroy it during the end phase of this turn. So you usually want to activate this card and then special summon Azurai's Silver Dragon, which is when this card is special summon. Dragon type monsters grown under control cannot be targeted or destroyed by the card effects onto the end of the next turn. You can only uh, you can target one normal monster in gear and special summon that target. So you usually want to have activate this guy's effect if you really need Azurai's and then special summon blue eyes. So that's pretty good. Then Mikhail the Light Arc Light Sword. Like the point of actually having Mikael in this extra deck is here. Look, 
months per turn. You can tar you can pay 1,000 life points and target one card of the field, banish that target. When this card is destroyed, you can target any number of light swords monsters in your graveyard to show them back to your deck. Uh, that's not the point of this. The point of having Mikael uh, instead of uh, sorry, I forgot. Instead of having um, you can pay 1,000 life points to target one card of the field and banish it. You can send the top three cards from your deck to the graveyard. So by any chance you get to discard this, this guy, and this guy will be amazing. Then the last synchro, Black Rose Moonlight Dragon. Uh, if this card is special summon or a low fire higher monster, is special summon to your opponent's side of the field. Target one special summon monster your opponent controls. Return that target to the hand. You can only use this effect of Black Rose Moonlight Dragon once per turn. That's pretty good. And then. Uh, Core Power and Dragon Titan Doxy. The point of this monster is to, uh, when the spell card is act is act active in the field, you can negate it, and and also uh, you can negate that. And if you do attach that card to to this card, it's an exceeds material, which is amazing. When the opponent declares an attack, you can look at this. Detach an exceed material from this monster, and that same monster targets this card and damage calculation applies it so that's pretty good and also if the face of exceeds monster control is destroyed by battle target in fact you can target one face of exceeds monster control and gains attack equal to one of those Detroit's monster original attack points that's amazing then coming up next we have number 95 galaxy eyes matter dragon uh, dark matter dragon sorry you can also exceed this card by using galaxy eyes exceeds monster control as the exceeds material <laughs> here it goes um, Cannot be exceeds cannot be used as it seems here for exceed summon. When this card is exceeds summon, you can send three dragon types from different names from your deck to your graveyard. Your opponent banishes three monsters from your deck, and you can detach one of the exceed materials and, and attack two different monsters. Uh, number seven, 107 Galaxy Eyes Techno Gra Dragon. Once per turn, at the start of the battle step, you can detach one exceeds material. From this card, negate the effects of all other face of monsters currently on the field. Also, their attack and defense become their original attack and defense. And if you do any of these during the battle phase of this turn, each time an opponent in the card's effect resolves, this card gains 1000 attack onto the end of the battle phase. Also, it can make a second attack during the battle phase this turn. That's pretty good. Like, if you feel like it's not necessary to 6C summon, you can uh, actually use this guy pretty well. But I usually XC summon to this guy and then merely XC summon to Galaxy Eyes Dark Matter Dragon. But it's optional. And finally, the last two XCs are Cyber Dragon Infinity and Nova. Well, the point of Nova and Infinity, like I said, you want to have Galaxy Soldiers, and once you got two Galaxy Soldiers, you want to XC summon to Nova and then immediately XC summon to Infinity, which aka can negate any activation of a card by just discarding one XC material from this monster and then each XC material in this monster uh, infinity gains 200 attack points so that's pretty amazing so yeah guys um, uh, like literally also this point of having cyber dragons but I don't feel like it like the point of this like is that galaxy soldier is so good it, it doesn't say it's once per turn so we can immediately get this guy in like in the first turn and it like fuck your opponent so hard and and yeah it can be activated either neither player's turn so that's pretty cool as well so you guys that was the blue eyes uh idolin summoner uh, deck profile hope you guys enjoyed it uh tell me in the comments below as well if you actually managed to do pretty good with this deck of course you can change it like i like i said effect veiler is optional and soul charts is also optional so yeah guys hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, like and subscribe for more julio videos coming up soon and and yeah later